Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to just simply talk about some updates that are now presently in Blender 2.9 UV. So if you've been around the channel, you probably have seen a couple of update videos we've been doing. And from time to time, we just simply talk about a full on update while sometimes we just, you know, make a very quick update of certain things. And this is one of them. Now, the things that we're going to be talking about right now is the three major updates that are now here. The very first one is the one that we've talked about a lot and you probably have seen it. So if you press tab on your keyboard by default, you go over to the edit mode and there is now a rip tool that is available in Blender. Of course, you know about this rip tool, but what you probably don't know is that if you go over to the editing section, there is also a rip tool. So if I select this right now and select this and switch over to edge, I can rip this apart lovely so with this you can simply select any part you want rip it apart select any part you want rip it apart and this works for either properties so if you're doing this for either a vertice you can choose to rip apart if you're doing this for face you can also do the same thing now the next update which is here is also something that is copying what we already have within the 3d viewports within the edit menu or within the edit mode over to uv so i think that there is a pattern that the guys from blender are trying to do since uv actually relates to the model why not just bring in some modeling properties over to the uv section more like what you have in maya so one of them is this let's simply get suzanne the monkey right about here and with these i will press tab on the keyboard and jump back here and also jump over to uv editing so if we go over to the uv editing now you probably don't see this before we actually talk about this let's see what this feature is directly in the viewport so what this feature is is most times when you're working directly with blender you probably want to select a couple of things and a lot of you guys know that by default there is something in blender which actually selects the shortest route possible so what that is is if you simply select one point using the edge you can hold down control and you can select the shortest path possible so you can see it picks the shortest path possible and this is just very useful so if you're doing the same thing for a face for example you can do that and hold control and do something like that and it picks the shortest path possible now this same feature is something that the guys at blender are also implementing for the uv so if we dive directly over to the uv let's simply select everything and press a so if we dive directly over to the uv you would notice that right about here if i switch over to an edge or to the edge i can grab one now this time instead of holding control control wouldn't do any good for you you have to hold down shift and you select the shortest path possible you can do the same thing select the shortest path possible and the reason why this is made is so that you can easily rip things apart all right so now that you've done this you can now go ahead and be like yeah i want to rip this apart and you can rip this apart all right now ripping things apart is one thing but then gluing these things together is, uh, is something else. So the whole idea here is now you can rip things apart and you can simply go over to select and select all of the linked objects. So if we go over to select right now and let's look for it, select links, we have this and you know, we can tap G on the keyboard and move these apart. Now, this is the second update. The third update is there is actually a merge and split menu you probably would not have noticed this but it exists and it actually looks good so if you take a look at blender 2.83 actually you can see that here if you take a look at blender 2.83 let's press the tab key yes there is something that actually looks more like what we're about to talk about but this is only known as stitching all right so you can stitch things together and you can also split things apart but this is just for stitching so stitching is the only thing that is available here but then if you go over to blender 2.9 where the whole juice and source is right now you can actually find out that you have a merge and a split so how does this work how this works is pretty simple so what you would like to do to actually get this one going is i can make a selection one two three go over to this part called uv and i can split just that selection and with that i have this 
particular selection out. The same thing happens here. So if I hold down uh, shift and make a quick selection, I can go right here, split, split, and boop, you have that there. So you see now you have more than just um, one tool to split things apart and merge things together. Previously, how this was done is you have to go over to the UV section or you have to go over to the viewport and you have to mark your seams, cut your seams, you know, move them around. But now it's very interesting to see that we have a split feature, which is here, which is actually mimicking something that you might probably find around here. There is also a split feature directly there. And now you also have the rip. So they are kind of moving some things from the 3D viewport directly here. So how you merge this is also very interesting. So if I go through and select one and two, go right here, go to merge, and I can simply merge to the center and you can have that there. You can also proceed to merge to where the cursor is and you can see that there and finally you can merge by distance all right so you can choose to merge this by distance so let's simply get this pretty so let's go ahead and get this pretty close and make this two selections and then we can merge by distance that happens and that works you can merge and you can simply work with all of these tools that we've talked about with either the vertex edge or face so these tools that we've just talked about they all work alongside like this so another cool thing that you would want to do is to simply go ahead and grab a free copy of blender and practice with this and see how this works for you i would like to know what you guys would like to see in the next updates for the uv right now i think these are getting very cool initially we didn't have any of these menus and it's cool to see that they implemented this in 2.83 and now we're getting some pretty incredible updates in 2.90 and blender's uv has been doing pretty fine previously we never had any cool feature that looked like udim but now there is udim now there are all of these beautiful tools and i think the sky is probably just the limit right now and just in case you're wondering how the udim thing works we already have a video about that link is going to be in the description at the same time if you want to learn some cool stuff there is also a link in the description that will take you to some very amazing places where you can learn some awesome cool stuff so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace